we're going to make topical ibuprofen, uh, which is uh, ibuprofen that's been dissolved into isopropyl alcohol, uh, and then you can get rid of the fillers and then mix it with aloe vera gel to make a very nice uh, spreadable uh, ibuprofen cream that is very fast acting and completely absorbs into your skin. So what you're going to need is ibuprofen, 200 milligram tablets. Uh, I use about eight for this size of a container. This is about one and a half ounce ounces or this is a true two dram bottle that I got at uh, the container store. You can also do 15 tablets in two ounces of alcohol. Um, so this is going to be about half of that. Uh, so ibuprofen. You're also going to need a container. I like this size. I had originally started in a larger container but because of the large bottom surface area it's harder to draw off and get rid of the fillers so a smaller um, container with a smaller diameter is a lot easier to work with so we're gonna have our container I eventually you'll need a dropper to draw off the solution but we don't need that yet that will be in part two uh, so here's my ibuprofen uh, you'll need 170 proof alcohol excuse me 70 proof uh, isopropyl alcohol to make the solution so we'll put that off to the side sorry about my weird um, Star Wars background but it's hiding the mess that is my table and you can do um, I just use a little piece of wax paper to crush them I do have a pill crusher um, because it's easier to initially crush the pills and then to use a spoon to get a very fine baby powder fine consistency so you do need to crush them as much as possible if you don't have a pill crusher you can just use a spoon it's just a little more difficult and so I will demonstrate uh, use the bottom rounded part of the spoon to apply pressure um, and you have to be very careful and you just kind of rock it until you feel it break kind of like an M&M &M. uh, and then you can just apply more pressure uh, just by rocking it back and forth on a hard surface um, to crush it so that takes a little more effort and since I have fibromyalgia and sometimes things are physically difficult for me I will use a pill crusher and in this particular one you put the pill in and you could put one or two and then you just uh, close it in and right about there you can feel it crushing um, and I give it a few twists now what comes out of this is not as fine and you can see that's not very fine either it's got some chunky bits um, the thing about this is as you can see it's got grooves and I lose a, a, a fair amount in the grooves and you can see it's not very fine there's chunky bits let me show you up close there are very chunky bits um, so I will use the spoon to crush them further uh, and the reason I use eight is because I feel like I'm losing a little bit of powder here in these grooves so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crush my remaining um, pills uh, like I said I started with eight um, and then I'm gonna pause and then I'll come back when that's done okay I've crushed all my pills and I've used the edge of my spoon to kind of get out of these grooves whatever I could and now I'm going to um, mush it squish it grind it further using the edge of my spoon on a piece of wax paper and wax paper is best you don't want to use um, you know surfaces that you use for cutting foods like a cutting board uh, because that can be porous and then you use that for your food substances and you don't want to uh, aluminum foil isn't necessarily the best either it's okay uh, it just it crinkles a lot um, so what I'm just gonna do is just use you know my fingers and rock and apply pressure um, to further grind uh, and you can kind of feel some of the bigger chunks kind of collapsing and grinding underneath your spoon uh, kind of mix it a little bit and you can see uh, now those pink particles those red are just you know the the top coating of the capsule 
and those will dissolve um, into the solution and make this kind of muddy substance um, that will filter out. So here we go. Just want to make sure I've got a very baby fine powder. Kind of got a crease in my table there. Get it all ground as far as we can get. All right, and you can see. Let's see if we can get in closer. Uh, so you can see this is very powder fine. And that's pretty much all that you have to do. So now comes the next step is we're just going to put it in our container. So here's my container. I'm going to use this to keep my, my background up. And the great thing about using this little folded piece of, let me move this a little further back. I'm going to very carefully Oops. Yes, I lose a little because I'm a little spastic. And then I'm just gonna see if I can loosen the remainder of this up a little bit. It's okay if you lose a little bit, it's not that big of a deal. Thump it a little bit. You can see there's a little bit still coming down. Mm. There we go. Alright, so I pretty much got it all. Uh, the original recipe that I had was 14 pills for 2 ounces of alcohol. 14, uh, 14 200 milligrams. Um, so I use 8 for about uh, I'm assuming about an ounce. I'm trying for an ounce. Um, so if you're going to lose a little bit, that's okay. You don't want to wipe it off your table and put it in there because you'll introduce other substances. So just count it as lost. You know, that's why I put that little extra. And then you're just going to pour your isopropyl alcohol in. This is a brand new bottle. And of course, that never works for me. That is just my luck. So this is an ounce, it's about an ounce and a half, so I don't want to quite go, I want to go like a little over three quarters um, full. And I'm probably going to make a big mess, but that's okay. So counting for the space that the actual pill takes. So that's approximately right. And then all you need to do is shake it. And you can see the red filler, the red dye from the pill coating is already making a pink sludge. So you want to shake it real good and make sure that all of these bits on the end here are mixed in. Uh, and then you will just let it set for two, two or three days. Uh, I usually do about two days um, to allow the ibuprofen to dissolve into the isopropyl alcohol. You do need to shake occasionally, especially in a smaller container where um, all of your ibuprofen particles will start to settle. And so they don't get enough um, surface area exposure to the alcohol, so you do need to shake in a smaller container. Shake it more often um, and give it a couple of days of, you know, shake it every time you pass it. Um, give it a good shake so that 
uh, the particles can dissolve into the alcohol. And then we'll give it a day, maybe two, so that all of the filler particles, once that's done, will uh, settle to the bottom and then we'll draw it off and that's in a second video. So that's pretty much it. It's not very difficult. Um, just shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture and get it all mixed up. Every time you pass it, give it a shake.